hello and uh, welcome everyone welcome to my another webinar and in this webinar we are going to talk about how to publish a package to npm or github okay recently github has provided this feature that you can also publish the same package to github as a github module so we will try to explore both the options how you can publish a package to npm which is a node package registry node package manager right and with there we have all the packages are available if you look at the express react tangular all the packages we are doing the installation and we are fetching from the npm registry right now you can also think about how can i publish my own package you created some kind of utility some kind of a commander tool some kind of a helper tool cli tool which you wanted to publish like you created a some kind of a mock library which is going to mock your database and local storage or any other kind of http library which is helping you same as axios fetch apis and all you wanted to publish those kind of packages so how can you publish and what all kind of a uh, module system you can support like uh, consider this particular package react or you can say express so express is an npm module right and the, some somebody has published this particular package and now you will be able to install this particular package and use in your application right so somebody has published it and now if i wanted to use i can use it just like using require common js module or you can also use it in the uh, typescript support you where you can say import express as alias from express so it is supporting everything because the alias type typescript typing the type definitions are available for express similarly if we just talk about angular angular has at the rate angular where we have all the packages like angular cli now if i wanted to install it what i will do is i will simply do npm install minus c it's like a utility package so you will install it globally and then you can you will be able to run all these different different commands right similarly all these packages are published by someone you can see that this is the reference repository this is the home page last published versioning you can see the semantics versioning where you are actually major minor and patch version right so all these things you have to manage now to support all these different things like your package should be able to be imported as a common js modules or the esx module when i talk about esx module means you will be using the require syntax as a common js module right if you are using import export import react from react or const react equal to require react both both are different right so simple like uh, i am just using this uh, writer import react const react equal to require react this is a common js of view of common js view of importing the module but your module which you publish to npm should support common js export so that you will be able to use it like this or otherwise you will do import react from react library right this is what you do this is a esx way of import right so we will see how you can publish a simple utility in which can support both and what we are going to do we are going to support both the system common js and esx import and we will use typescript for it because if you are using es6 so you should also be providing the typescript interface and typing the type definition for your library so if any typescript project you are writing for the node.js or the client side you should be able to provide a type definitions for it okay so we will take a look the basic things before publishing any npm module so first of all you should have a npm account npm account means you should be able to log in like uh, you can do the sign in and uh, you should be able to create a package so i do have my account I'll just try to see if i can do i don't have pass password on the system so you should be able to do a login right so how you can you can do all these logins using just simply npm login okay here it will ask you your username so if you have account then you would be able to provide it and your npm password npm password when you create your account you should be getting it and your email id okay so i am logged in to this repository to this registry it's npm global registry 
here i can publish my public project uh, public uh, library or private library okay now coming to the code code can be as, as simple as basic typescript code or basic javascript code what i am doing is i am creating the build for common js and es es es6 support so i am using the typescript here if you can see the package of js the definition here i am using the type config right so few things which you just need to take care while you are publishing a typescript package because you, you are writing code in typescript you will be uh, exposing the, the interface or the type definition so you should always make the declaration true for typescript packages and this image metadata decorations experiment and decorations if you are using any third party module they may need it, these flags as a tool so that you can expose the typings used by those modules and target is is 2015 module system is this strict true so you will not be using any everywhere you will be defining the types these are the compiler option which you have defined and what you are including and type root you will be adding a type root so in uh, in index.ts on your both the packages and output directory when the compilation typescript build is done you will get a lib esm okay so this is a kind of utility you are going to build don't treat these library as that they are you are going to get an output as a ui it is the cli library or some kind of utility and you are just writing those classes which whoever is going the end user is going to import this module and you he will be using these classes to execute some function so your code can be as simple as just a simple like this functions calculator or anything so as so consider that i am just exposing these two things one is a function and one is a class okay now what i'm doing is first of all the package.json definitions uh, and typing typing.json these two things you need to, have to take care here i will be supporting both the module system esm and uh, this cgs common js and esm modules so for common js this is another typing.json i will be just extending the ts config and i will be just overriding these two attributes in my compiler config which is a module system will be config and output directory for uh, compiler types of compiler will be lib cgs so i'm using common js here here i'm using uh, esm okay esm and cgs both the outputs i will be get when i do npm run build so i did already npm install when i do npm run build for this particular code so I, i'm trying to get the build for both here I, i'm executing both the things by passing both the configs in the tsc so as mentioned output directory is different for both output directory and output directory for this ts config is different so if you see the lib right it's a cgs common js right so if you take a look on to the index.js it is exporting like this so whenever i wanted to use it i will how will i do it const hello equal to Consider this is a hello.js file or library hello. Okay, so I will be just importing npm install uh, this library name and then I will be able to install this package something like this from that library. Okay, with this library is just exporting one class and I will be getting it like this. So it is exporting say hello and the class. So I'm getting two things from here uh, class hello and the say hello function. So I will be able to import them something like this, like common JS module way, where you just use a require, and in the require, this particular module, common JS module is exporting two things, module or so. How we do it? Module dot exports, but here we are exporting two things, say hello and hello. So you can selectively get either hello or say hello or both, while you just require it. So you can write your code and you will be able to require. Similarly, if I just to take a look onto the my ESM. Here I will be getting the export import syntax, right? So it is exporting two things. So what I can do is either you can just use import everything as uh, all from this module like uh, module name, library name, right? Now I can just do is everything dot. Here I will just use the hello. <coughs> In my code or like everything dot cl this is how will i use or i can just use import selective import either just like say hello or hello 
prompt library name which I'm going to publish okay and when you just put a library name it will look into the node modules before because you will publish this module then you will install it this module will be available in the node modules and when you do it something like this it will look inside the node modules inside index.ts and it will find okay yes I got the definition of hello and say hello so it will import them similarly we can just do a selective import imports for this common js module here here you will just uh, const like get everything const x equal to you can say require this library name and then you can just do a dot around it and you can get say hello or you can just get the hello okay so this is the different way of importing exporting things and i'm supporting my library my library is supporting both the things right before that you can also write your test coverage and all these things you can write so all the setup is done here you can just look at the code if you want here i have package.json so what is minimum thing to require to publish on the package to npm nothing you just need the code you don't even need a repository because npm is putting the repository what you have defined in the configuration it is not saying okay you just need to have a repository but obviously if you are publishing something we will be managing the version so we create a github track tags and all and then from there we run a ci cd which indirectly publishing the module to the npm now the github modules are also there so you might be publishing the same module on the github as a github module so what i did is i just did npm login okay and what the, the name of the package is test package right so if you just look at the test package globally there may be 100 package already there with this name test package but package name is unique so i will be using my username as a prefix so for tks sarma this test package is unique right right so i'm just putting my alias this is you can see the scope is my username or my own repository there i'm putting test package okay so you have to select the name wisely so i'm putting a test package in my repository and it is a public package so first of all we have already done npm in it what we need to do is let me just zoom it. after once we are done npm in it we can just let's try to do npm publish so here we have to take care of publishing this package as the public package so i have already written these instructions here how you are going to publish a package okay so you just need to provide this access public and if your package is already published then you have to manage the versioning here i have a package.json here if the package 1.2.2 is already published npm publish access public so you can see it is now publishing my package and it will publish the version latest version and now it is successful i don't see any error and this is now package is available you can just look at it or I can just show you okay so this is my package name and it's a public package so while defining it as an npm install npm install minus minus save you have to use this particular name at the tk semaphore forward slash test package the scope of this is around this okay so my package name is unique i don't need to worry about the conflict you can see now you have to link it it with some repository so all these instructions you are specifying in your package.json the repository author registry registry is npm registry it is common global repository the repository url because the same configuration will be published on the npm repository here you will see the link uh, the repository uh, web, web page all the descriptions which you provide in the package.json will be published on the npm site and here is a description okay main will be the index.js for common js and for the modules it will be index.js in the esm okay i just need a build instruction simply npm run build so it will just generate a build for esm and cgs both and rest you can do the testing and all these things lint lint fix because you are you might be writing a huge amount of code for a library so you need to take care of the linting library uh, linting testing testing coverage you should be writing good code for this okay so you can see see the author publish config repository and all right now if i did npm publish i did nothing i just have a package.json 
and you can create a package to json using npm init and you can just provide the username is simply tks sarma okay there you can initialize your uh, basic package to json with the tks sarma as a username or as a scope okay so publishing something to uh, i can say npm is quickly very easy you just need to have account second you just log in npm login and then npm publish npm login just you have just have a username password and your package will be published same as like this okay now what if we are, if i want to publish the same package to a github module okay few things for the github module it's like a same process but now what we are going to have we are going to have a uh, we are going to target github only not npm as a publisher right so few things which you need to change in your code is the publish config so what publish config is publish config is saying that now publish it will be targeting npm module npm github so it will be pointing to this domain npm.package.json.com and your repository name should be valid because before publishing it will look at your github this is the username okay do you have this repository there the name of the package can be the same okay repository and url now in the depend just just plug in with these things so i already have a this package.git.json with all the changes so what we do is we'll just rename it to package.json and rename, rename the existing one here i already have all the changes publish config repository and the basic things the package name and all it should be unique okay and types types will be available in, in index.d.ts which is same in earlier version also in the package.json we were having lib index.d.ts so if you can see here here i have whatever the code i have written these are the types available for it so whenever you import this uh, package in the typescript project where it will look for the default definition typing is in the index.ts so if you are using these classes say hello and all these things then it will look for the default typings here okay the name is it, it is expecting as a string so if you are importing this library and passing name something else then it will give an error because the typings are in the index.d index.d.ts okay okay so let's get ready for publishing it to the github module so what we need to do after doing all the changes let's rename it to the existing package.json to something and here we can rename it to package.json okay so it's saying we have all the definitions here also i will be uh, publishing this library for both cgs and esm okay and library files will be in the lib the same instructions build and notch only the publish config is changed the repository should be the, the available already and i have this is a typescript package so if if we talk about what is needed for the typescript library okay obviously you just need to have a typescript uh, in the dependencies like I have a lot of things because I'm doing a test things and all these things NYC, Mocha, Chai, Bluebird, all these things I need. But if you're writing a simple package without test and coverage and all, then you just need to have a typing Node.js or a minimal TypeScript like here. Okay. Otherwise, once your package is published, if you see the dependencies, dependencies are published here. You can see eight. These are the de dependencies and these are the dev dependencies. Try not to increase the, these too much because you have package should be lightweight and you should not have a dependencies and on too many things too many external packages try to write more on your own code okay now first of all if we just go there how to publish a github package so you just need to have a github account that is basic thing and now you can just follow the basic instructions npm login okay here is the command which you have to little bit careful about you just need to log in first of all with the registry this npm login registry this and follow the prompt like this here i change the registry right now it is targeting to npm.package.github.com so it is not seen as your npm login and here if you have two factored authentication enabled then you have to pass your uh, personal access token ok 
Okay, most probably, yes, I'm logged in. Now, uh, this is about when you wanted to use it, okay. What I can do is, I can just trigger the simple instructions, npm publish, okay. Let, let's see if we get any error. So, I think I bumped up the version, so it's package load decent. So, currently the version is this, so we can change this to 1.1. So it is also following the same instructions and now your 1.1 is published okay it is quickly straightforward you just did npm login just you just need to specify what you are targeting the registry is this right so you will be targeting this registry and you are publishing npm package this is also a public package you have already done npm run build so it will just create a lib folder with the both the support cgs and esm now we just need to do npm publish same as uh, we are doing for the npm publish right now it will just see okay where you are logged in i am logged in with the npm so it will just push this package now if you wanted to see where it is published then we can just see at github just if i am logged in Here you can see I have this test package and it is published out of, out of one right and I just have a dummy readme file I will just clean it it's just a save so if you wanted to use it then npm install this you have to use it in your code and this is how you will define it in your package.json okay so your package is published here 1.0.1 right and so when you have a github package you will just uh, use the you can use the github actions to actually create a tag for the previous package so you will have you will maintain the the previous packages also and their code also right so you can just create a github tag before publishing the new package and you should maintain the consistency of this versioning 1.0.1 major minor and patch version and you should be running all this you can just configure a basic pipeline like this travis where you will doing npm install npm run build npm run test and then npm pack or npm publish what it just needed it just needed a github token which you can just use a github environment variables to pass it okay but here we just talked about how you can just create a basic package or basic library and can publish it to npm and github it's just matter of your typing or ts config and the compiler options what you are targeting you just need to take care of very few things declarations should be true you just define output directory your target and your module system module system can be a common js or can be es6 is 1020 here for this i'm using common js module pattern i just creating the different different bundles so when your package is being imported you can import it as a required js module sorry a common js module where you are just doing a require or you can use an import export like a es6 module where you can use it so the same code base a typescript enabled where you have the typings defined can be used as a es6 module or as a common js module so most of the packages what they lack is uh, they don't have the type type definitions available so what they create is they create a type pack type definitions as a separate module right at the types if you see So here around this you will see type node lodash react react dom so if you have a big library then you can define the typing separately right so we have a node and type nodes so it is providing the type definitions for all the nodejs core library things okay okay so this is all about uh, how you can publish uh, a library written in the typescript and nodejs i mean we are just writing typescript and uh, javascript and you can publish it for as a common JS and ES6 module. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe my channel if you like the video.